Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolfed Out Fallout 3 series. Fallout 3, you say? I'll get to that in a bit. I am Roaring the Werewolf, and we're going to take an updated look at a player house mod here in Fallout 3 at actually the mod author's special request. Because in my last iteration of this video, uh, for him, it has gone through a few little updates here and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through this player house mod once again with the new iterations to this player house mod. Now I shall warn you, this player house mod doesn't react well with the Megaton player house themes. So you cannot have any themes attached to this player house mod and it is very easy to take out the theme just in case if you actually bought one but you have to do it before you load up a game with this mod attached because it took me a, like a little while because it, it's been a very long time since I popped back here in Fallout 3 and all the mods that I have installed I had to like do multiple saves in order to prevent corruption <laughs> but that's on me that that's that's my save now in the last iteration of this player house mod it didn't have stuff back there hmm huh. looks like Sharon is um exploring that top bit a little bit <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and walk you through. All this outside seems to be unchanged. Excluding the fact that there was, uh, from what I saw, an intercom system right here for some reason. Now he removed that, though I would have liked if he would have put uh, some decorations on the pl uh, on the house itself right up here maybe like a, uh, a a street lamp or something in order to lighten this outside area up during the night is that my dog meat yeah I, I turned off his cybernetic uh, mod appearance look let's see it still has the enclosed off balcony which I liked from the previous uh, iteration still has this decor from the what was it uh, Operation Encourage uh, one of the assets from that DLC and put it in here so he has a nice little assortment of decor out here workbench motorcycle uh, some purification water it crates and and assets out here, bench, and the lovely doormat. All right, let's go into the player house. Not much has changed from in here, though he may have added a little bit more miscellaneous items lying around. Love the kitchen area, like I like I said in the previous iteration of this. Now, this Another part has changed. Now, originally there was like this weird little smokestack coming from the steam gauge assembly, which I found a little weird. But he removed that and had it just, just make it a normal little workbench. Uh, with all kinds of little assortment. But he added a tiny Another little fireplace this man's army. right here. To, to basically, you know, make it not empty. Big screen TV. <laughs> uh, has little tiny toys right here. Uh, tiny Liberty Prime, if you can see it. Protectrons. Uh, uh, little 
Little assets. The sergeant's in my way. All the books just lying ragged over here. Cool. Very cool. Now, I'm not sure if this was here before. This leads to a bathroom. Very well done. We don't have to use the public bathroom next to the pub. Clean bathtub. And it looks like he hooked up pipes to it to give it a little bit more authentic feel for for this. A weird... Uh, I'm not sure if this is me. If this is my mods. Or if this is his. The appearance of this cabinet and this chest look a little bit odd. Now the chest I would not second glance at because, you know, it looks run down, rusted. Uh, but this, this cabinet, looks a little bit weird to me. Especially right here on the side. That's fine. Uh, broken mirror. Sink. Uh, we can activate it to gain some health. Uh, cleaner toilet than the ones that we usually see in this game. Very nice seamless through the bathroom to the main house. Another glorious day in this man's army. All right, just in case if you have the Amata follower mod, she has her own room up here. Makes use of the the empty space uh, that was here in the previous, um, let's see, in the normal Megaton house. Though I would have liked to add, uh, I would have liked to him to add like a different version of this, I'm not sure if he s still keeps up with this mod or not. I would have liked him to add a different version where this was something else other than Amada's uh, room, just in case if you don't have that mod installed. But it's very well done and uh, not too cramped. Christmas lights. I do love me some Christmas lights. Things are going well with you today, madam. And you'll eventually see a lot of them in the in the in my sediment build video with uh, the mechanist hideout because I did a lot of work on that today. This is your room. I very very much liked both in both iterations of him applying these posters, uh, applying wall decor. Very cool. Not too cluttered. Let's see. Activate. Shout here. Do I have a different translation of it? I think I do. I, I think I don't have the full tra uh, it, It's not fully translated. <laughs> He added this that was, uh, it's an asset when you first start off and first get here to Megaton and ask Moira Brown to, uh, about this vault suit. She gives this to you. This is originally on her wall in her shop. But I really do like how that is set up. This new, this is new, a Vault 101 child jumpsuit. I have no idea what that's for. Or why that's here. Maybe as a miscellaneous item, just in case if you want to reminisce, this is where you have your old vault stuff when you were a kid. Closed case. Your very own safe. It's good to see you alive and well, madam. Well, there's a lot of static coming from this. 
this is part of the natural game. I do wish he would have modded out because I hate the static noise coming from this this broken neon light. Yep. Yep, it's not completely fully translated. We have the wonderful chemistry set up here and the infirmary. A bunch of lockers to make use of this this highly emptied area that is in the original uh, in the original game. He also adds a bunch of named weapons, special items that you get across the DLCs and all kinds of little things just in case if you have problems with acquiring the items uh, from the previous uh, DLC. Like later on you'll see me I run across well a bunch today, of Mothership Adam. Zeta items and and just in case if you miss them during the DLC and come back and can't go back to get them he adds them there in there for you. But right here we have a doorway to the roof. Now, in my previous video of looking at this mod, I found this completely odd. Uh, having plants grow from outside, from inside the, the house itself. I would have liked it if he would have uh, done one of those like, little tiny pots things. You know, you'll see across the, the land and shrink it down and maybe shrink down these things to make it look like they were planters. But I like that he added this. This is one of my favorite assets in the game. This is a very cool looking. He added a tiny little campfire up here. A couch. And if you haven't noticed it closely, if you've downloaded this mod and not noticed it before, a sniper perch above the ingrown trees that is coming from your house that takes a peek at the top of Megaton. All right, let's also take a look at what was done outside here in the balcony, the back balcony. We have a nice layer of benches, campfire, we got a wood chipper here, weirdly enough, with a piece of wood stuck inside of it. Chip out wood pieces for the campfire. That's a pretty night and nice idea. We got a jukebox out here. Just in case if we want to listen to some tunes. A grill. Two grills. <laughs> We have a park bench set up, and he has used one of the pressure plates assets as a little centerpiece with with beer, <laughs> which I thought was pretty cool. And he also added this nice little stein pointing out to your home. <laughs> Very neat little idea. I actually like that pretty much. dead tree with Christmas lights on it though I'm not sure if they light up or not and two skeletons right here there's also a little note that you might want to grab for a little tiny lure reasons uh, that is laying right there I already did that I'm not gonna spoil any of the written stuff for you and it looks like Sharon is up there which is a little scouting post has own little seat and an actual working TV that is looking at... what is that? Is that the White House or... or Underworld? I can't tell. I know one of the assets have videos... No! No, this is the... 
the point lookout cameras. It, 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 it's in the mansion. That's right. That's right. And it looks like there's little tiny guns. Little tiny Chinese assault rifles on the table. That's <laughs> <Super. laughs> Okay. He added all sorts Welcome of pictures home, madam. to the walls, paintings, uh, graffiti. If you look around closely, to to break up the monotony of all this, I really liked what he did with these little tiny pictures. Now that is inside the main house. Now let's go and show you the biggest change from my previous video for this player house mod. The basement. Now you gotta be a little careful if you have an extremely modded game like I do. Uh, transitioning from outside a megaton into here may cause a crash in the game because I just experienced one just a moment ago. But all this is recently changed and he's done a lot. He's created a, like a little light switch to lighten up this area. He's fixed the entrance of the door which looks very nice. Even a little graffiti on it. This is the big change because in the previous video it was uh, empty, completely empty. And I knew that he was going to add something down here to it. This seems to be the previous owners of the Megaton house, his terminal, and you can take a look at his uh, modded in lore for this player house which is really cool and all sorts of little decor here's one of the items that you get off of mothership zeta just in case if you missed it alien power cells uh, gun cabinets and here's the chest for the the other items inside though he didn't add the katana Might want to add the katana. <laughs> A blueprint for rocket w rifle? Rocket rifle. This might be an iteration of a... A rocket launcher? I have no idea. Oh wait, that's right, it's in a different translation. So, so it comes out different than me. He added this uh, nice little setup, and he actually changed uh, from one of the versions I originally saw in this. There was like a screen in the middle of the, of the power armor, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Where you'd access it from like there, but he moved it over here. Power armor status. You can take a look at all the details that he add for this particular power armor suit right here. Though we cannot access it. It's not something we can grab. It's pretty much for decor reasons. As you can see, a bunch of copper wires heading up to this generator charging up this power suit but he's added actually this power armor suit tribal power armor Lidens, uh, outcast power armor and an outcast power helmet as well as this he added the winterize power armor suit from the DLC in here as well it looks really cool when the power uh, from your Pip-Boy light is off.
really dark and mysterious. But he did a lot in here. This also is one of my favorite assets from Mothership Zeta. I wish this was an actual grabbable item in the game where you can put it around your house to use as decor. It's been a while since I popped in uh, Fallout 3. Well done. Very well done. One of the best uh, iterations of Megaton Player House houses that I've seen on the Nexus. And there you have it. Now, if you like this mod, go ahead and download it. Uh, if you want to see if the mod authors created any other mods for this game or any other particular game, you can go ahead and check that out. Links will be in the description below. Now you guys stay furry, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!